Learning is perhaps the best habit we can develop in life. So if you're a student right now, lucky you. Your only job is to be a learner. When you move on to other things in life, try not to lose this trait. So, do you want to know the secret to being a good learner? Be a teacher, and by that, I don't mean being a teacher as a profession, but rather as a method for learning. Whether you're preparing for an exam as a student, getting ready for a presentation as a professional, or developing something as an entrepreneur, how should you prepare? How should you study? The answer I have can be summed up in just three words. The famous physicist Richard Feynman suggests a four-step strategy, but before I explain all that, let's listen to these five warnings from Professor Candace Thill, a learning expert at Stanford University, about how not to study. And what we're really focused on is continuous improvement in teaching and learning. And that... Don't just highlight, take notes. She says, stop highlighting and underlining lines. It's a complete waste of time. Just because you highlighted something doesn't mean you've learned it any better. So what should you do? When you come across a point you find worth highlighting while reading or studying, try to rephrase that idea in your own words. In other words, take notes, make that subject part of your own story. No, it's hard. There's a common misconception among students. If I'm struggling with a subject, it means I'm not learning it. With this mindset, they tend to avoid difficult topics and gravitate towards easier, more immediately understandable content. But that's a waste of potential. You need to start with what's hard and begin with the awareness that it will be difficult. Learning happens in the struggle. Don't cram. Don't wait until the last minute. I know cramming works. You can put off studying until the last night, work through everything at once, and take the exam the next day to get a great grade. I've done it myself. But I don't remember any of those topics anymore. That information was just memorized. Like a computer's RAM, it was saved in temporary memory and immediately discarded. Instead, spacing out your study sessions is a much better strategy. Yes, you may forget some things in between and have to review them again. But through these repetitions, the information will be permanently saved in your long-term memory, making it a part of your life. Fourth, be open to feedback, especially the kind of feedback you might not like. You already know your strengths. To learn and grow, you also need to know your weaknesses because a true friend tells it like it is, and they should, so you won't suffer later. Listen to the tough advice from your friends. Five, be persistent. Don't say, this is all I'm capable of. No one's intelligence is fixed. It can grow. Also, don't worry too much about whether you're a verbal person or a math person. When it comes to learning, your brain doesn't actually know if it's supposed to be verbal or mathematical. You might struggle with some subjects more than others, but don't focus on the difficulty. Focus on the subject itself. Trust me, you've got the capacity for it. For example, I graduated from a liberal arts program, but I also have an interest in math and physics. In fact, I'd say that my education in the arts has helped me understand scientific concepts better, and the reverse is possible too. Apart from this, here are some tips for studying and retaining a topic or article. 1. Choose the topic you want to learn and start studying it. Write down what you learn, better yet, in a dedicated notebook. Two. Try explaining the topic as if you were teaching it to others, using simple terms. 3. While explaining, you'll notice gaps in your knowledge. Go back to your sources and books to fill in those gaps. Repeat this cycle until you can explain the topic fully. 4. Simplify and use analogies. Try to explain the concept by finding similarities. I use this four-step learning strategy during my school years as well. In addition to this, I also recommend checking out fast learning techniques. These techniques are designed to help you understand and retain information more efficiently. They include methods like active learning memory techniques and focused study blocks. Repeating subjects in short intervals and using multiple learning channels can keep your brain more engaged and speed up the learning process. Moreover, creating mental maps and breaking down information into smaller chunks makes complex topics easier to digest. Thanks for watching the video all the way through, my friend. If you apply these tactics, you'll see the difference. If you liked the video, supporting us by subscribing would be a big help. We love you. Take care until the next video. Goodbye.